The way that I love to paint the most is to just get a point of inspiration and start painting. It only ever takes me about a minute to flick through, find a page that I find completely inspiring, and then that will set me off and I'll use, for example, the colors. So I'll go, ah, oh, I'm in the mood for cobalt turquoise. And that's what this beautiful greeny blue is that's in the sky. Now I wouldn't normally think to use greeny blue turquoise in the sky, but this sets me off. And then I look down here and I see two more blues. Um, you probably could say there's indigo, but I don't paint with indigo. I like to use pure colors. Indigo is not a pure color. It's a mixed blue. Um, so I've also gotten out some cobalt blue, which is a pure blue, and some ultramarine blue, which is a blue mixed with a little bit of red. So you can see that the finished product is absolutely nothing like the image. And I do that on purpose. I don't want to actually copy someone's work. I want to produce original stuff. I always want to produce original stuff. Not that there isn't a wonderful advantage to painting someone else's painting and copying it and learning how they put it together. That is a wonderful thing to do. The size of the sky, it's about a quarter to three quarters. I like that ratio. Then I've got a land mass or a suggested land mass, which again is smaller than the land size and smaller dramatically than the foreground size. That's one of the key things I do in any landscape is reduce sizes so that this amount of space is different to this amount of space, which is different to this amount of space. The next thing that I do that I do all the time in my paintings is use triangles. I love using these sort of lines to bring your eye into my painting. This is a classic method of leading the viewer into your painting. Now, you do need to be a very arty to recognize that this is a type of triangle. You can see that I'm not being literal about the triangle. If you're arty enough, you'll see that that is vaguely a triangle. And then you could go on to say that that is vaguely a triangle. Actually, it looked more like a triangle before I fiddled with it. Um, so I'm using variation in shape, sizes, then I'm using very then I'm using triangles to bring your eye into the painting. The other thing that I've done is I've made this section the darkest part of the painting. So hopefully then your eye goes in with these light tones and sits temporarily with the dark tones. Then on top of that, I've come into these dark areas and added really dark marks.
And my final tip to you is that this section here I also made darker because I felt like it was too big a leap to go from here to here. So I added some darks there so that hopefully your eye goes in, stops temporarily and then is drawn up to the darker ones. I use these sort of tips every single time on landscapes, regardless of whether they're abstract landscapes or more realistic landscapes. So I hope you got a lot out of that video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. See you next time. Bye.